It is probably the least perfect day um, of spring so far in 2019. Um, but I will say that my word for 2019, my word this year was splendor. Just to be like, remind me to be more present and more like appreciative of God's creation and to just find like the splendor and things. And I went for a walk this morning and was like noticing how beautiful it was before the storm. And it really reminded me that God's splendor isn't everything, you know? It's like he also created the rain and the snow and the storms and like, it's not anything less because it's rainy. It's actually like all God. I think throughout this entire process, it's been a series of like plans that were veered slightly off course. And I think for me, the end of it all is that we get to be married and that's all that really matters. And so the weather for me is just the fun memory that everybody takes away from it 20 years from now. Thank you for the revelation you gave Ashley this morning of your splendor. God, that this really is not only a day that is covered and filled with your splendor and your beauty, God, but it is a testament of what you're going to do um, in Ashley and Tyler and their marriage and their lives individually and as they become one, God, that their, their marriage and their lifetime together would just be covered with your splendor, God, that you would truly exceed everything that both of them have believed for and prayed for, God, that their marriage will be a symbol of your goodness and your faithfulness, God, and it will just draw people to you. I thank you for it in Jesus' name. God, I thank you for the incredible gifts you've given us in life with family and friends and the, the gift that you're giving Tyler and Ashley tonight, God, in the miracle where they become one flesh. God, I just pray now and I thank you for your promise that everything they put their hand to prospers and no weapon formed against them ever will. God, I thank you for the incredible future. In Jesus' name, amen. From the moment we met, you captivated me. I noticed how you connected with people, how you could command the attention of a room. Six years later, you still captivate me. You are beautiful, kind-hearted, thoughtful, and most of all, loyal. You have stuck with me through all of the ups and downs and never once left my side. And starting today, I vow to never leave yours. We did it, babe. We made it. I will love you always, Tyler. Ty, somehow I always knew we would be standing here. I always saw our magical wedding day as crossing a major finish line, overcoming the odds both personally and in our relationship. But today I'm looking at our wedding from a completely fresh perspective, realizing that it's not a finish line at all. It's more like hitting the first mile and a really long, fun race that we get to do together. My first gift to you is for you, but also for our children. It is a family Bible. That I had painted with the scripture on the body over the past six months. I've gone through and underlined passages that I feel represent the kind of wife that I want to be and the love I want us to have. So explore through, find my notes to you. I hope you'll add to it. And then we'll add to, to it as a family over the next few decades. It will be something that can be handed down to generations, that, the generations we dreamed about. I can't wait to see you today. Love your wife forever, Ashley Marie. From the moment I met Tyler, he was the first person or the first man that I met where I really felt that our values aligned immediately. Like knowing that like how much he loves God and his commitment to family and um, just his loyalty and his steadfastness was something that I hadn't really seen in anybody that I dated before. And we, I mean, we talked about getting married and having kids when we were still just friends, like before we had even started dating, just because we knew that that is what we both wanted out of life. I think that she's the most loyal person that I've ever met, not just to me, but to everyone in her life. And it's the first time that I ever remember 
finding someone that I knew I could just be myself, like my true self, with all the flaws and the kinks and everything that comes along with that. And I know that no matter what I did or what I wanted to try, that she would always back my play. That and she's really, really hot. Marriage isn't 50-50, it's 100-100. The amazing thing about both of you guys is your overcomers. That, that overcoming nature of Jesus is on the inside of us. And both of you guys carry that. The Bible promises everything you put your hand to prospers. You're marrying a man who's not only gonna take you as a wife, but now God's adding favor to his life. Ashley, you're, the, the Bible says that your, your value is greater than anything on the planet. And you, you just, honestly, whatever, whatever kind of value you place in yourself doesn't come near the value that God has for you and that Tyler has for you. What God's done, what's amazing is, is that you guys met in LA <laughs> at a gym random as could be. I mean, it's, and God puts you together. I mean, it's, it, it's somehow it makes perfect sense to me <laughs> because it's supernatural. It's phenomenal. Just be who God's called you to be. And please don't look back. It's been five years, 11 months, 29 days. <laughs> that was the day we spent our first day together. We've been through a lot in that time, but I knew on that day that I wanted to marry you. I still know on this one. I vow to be your husband, to love you always, to put you first, God above all. In the hard times, I vow to be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, but I vow that hard times will not define us. I vow to raise up children in the way that they should go, to create peace in our home, to break generational curses. I vow to be your covering, to be steadfast, immovable, unshakable, consistent, to fulfill the call of God on my life, and to join you as you fulfill the call on yours. From the days, um, from the days I first met you, I knew that you were someone that I could marry. Your humor, your steadfastness, your loyalty, and your commitment to God and family bring so much light to my life every single day. You have pushed me and encouraged me and nurtured me to play more, relax, laugh more, and enjoy the ride. You've taught me not to just love God more, but to love myself more. I've walked a very long and winding road to get here today. And it brings me so much joy and I count it as such a reward to stand in front of you and confidently say that I am a wholehearted girl ready to go on the adventure of a lifetime with you. And you don't get to just be a standard run of the mill, regular old husband. <laughs> 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 you, get to, you get to be my co-author in a story filled with God's redemptive and faithful nature. I promise to always love and honor and respect you. I promise that our home will be filled with peace for us and for our kids. I promise to rejoice every day and laugh here as it is in heaven. To me, this day, like, this day is what victory looks like. And I commit to you that our life, the theme is victory. 
I truly believe today that the heavens are rejoicing. Today, God is marking a major win in his wins column. <laughs> and the devil is resigned to being kind of like the Oklahoma City Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Trying really hard to win it all, never quite getting it. <laughs> being your wife is my greatest honor, and I cannot wait to do life with you. It's my pleasure <laughs> to announce for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Bowman. One of those things I admire the most uh, is the beautiful relationship we've developed with Tyler. Uh, their compassion, their trust for each other, their, de their dedication to each other, the way they constantly put each other first, their sense of humor. These are all things that I seek to emulate in my life. Uh, and if I can develop half as strong of a bond as you two have, I'll consider myself a really lucky girl. And Tyler, I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited to finally call you my brother-in-law. Uh, Ashley spent a lot of her life taking care of other people and putting other people before her. Um, and I'm so glad that she's found someone that's going to do that for her and take take care of her through times of joy and times of adversity. I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you guys as a couple. And I know there's going to be so many more stages of life where I don't just have one role model to look up to anymore. I have two. And as a wise man that Ashley and I both admire and look up to, Drizzy Drake once said, <laughs> you can have my heart or we can share it like the last slice. There's no doubt in my mind that you guys have each other's hearts. <laughs> Congratulations, and thank you, and let's party. Most importantly, Tyler and I, uh, we love each other. And uh, we will always have the bond of two young boys who lost their father uh, entirely too young. And <clears throat> it's a bond of you know living through adversity that not many nine and 11 year olds face. But we faced it, and we got through it, and we got through it together. And uh, I think that's a big reason that Tyler and I are as close as, are as, close as we are. Um, and when you have a family as close as ours, um, when you marry one of us, you, you get the whole gang. And Ashley, like our mom, um, is, is obviously an amazing woman. Uh, you'd have to be to put up with Tyler. But it's even beyond that. Uh, and as with everything in life, uh, once again, Tyler clearly has excelled and picked the perfect bride. Um, she fits right in with our family, and I, and I really couldn't be more excited for her to join our family and share our last name. Uh, I take a lot of pride in the name Bogan. Um, to me, it represents the legacy of two of the finest men I've ever known, uh, my dad and my grandfather. It's, it's also a name that my brother has represented well, and I know Ashley will do the same. Last night, I gave my brother uh, some cufflinks that were uh, the letter B made from my dad's signature. And uh, tonight, um, as Ashley is now officially a bogan, I'm gonna give her a matching pendant um, that is a B in diamonds made from my dad's signature. And uh, the B, of course, stands for our last name. Uh, the diamonds represent beauty under pressure and strength through adversity, which unfortunately uh, they both have had to endure. Um, but the pressure and adversity that they have been through has also taught them that together with God, they can get through anything. And um, I know that you guys are going to have a wonderful marriage and a wonderful home and a wonderful family. And I'm just so excited to have Ashley be a part of it. I hope that you guys, Tyler, I hope you can wear your cufflinks from time to time and, and Ashley can wear her necklace from time to time and be reminded of the love that you feel for each other today and the joy of finally, after all these years, sharing the same last name. So welcome to the family, Ash. I love you both. Cheers. God, I thank you that this moment is caught in their hearts. 
God and they build from here. Anything meant for bad, no matter what it is, God, you turn it to good. God, we're appreciative of that. We thank you for that. God, your word promises you daily load them with benefits, that your blessings come upon them and overtake them. In Jesus' name, amen. Let the truth be known.